todos. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for tuning in. Your hosts today, I'm Johnny. And I'm Tom. And I'm Tadeo. We're three American expats coming to you from the gorgeous capital city of Buenos Aires, Argentina, sorry, the mundo of marvelous Malbecs herself. This is the podcast about everything but nothing, with some expat life news and company thrown in. This is... The, the Velvet, Velvet Hammer. Hammer. Okay, wake up, Tom. Let's go. <laughs> a little slow on that one. <laughs> a little slow on that one. And, 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 and wait, wake up with a... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Doing the best I can. Right, <laughs> right. Yes, this is what I need to wake up right now. Yeah. Have a little oh, bit yeah. of okay, dog's breakfast. Okay, what we got going today? Oh, we got these Diet Kill Mess. <laughs> diet Kill Mess. <laughs> <laughs> Diet Kilmer. Diet Kilmer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. But it, 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 you have to look real close to see the kill maze on it. Yeah. I yeah. really want everybody to know. Yeah, somewhere on there it says Made in Kilmer. <laughs> yeah. Like, or something like that. Dia Elaborado dear. por Dia Argentina. Elaborado por. Uh, it's. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. I just like that. It's still 4.7. Yeah, I mean, yeah, same, same, same shit. <laughs> same, same, same shit. Same shit, different, different can. can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, technically it isn't diet. It is full, full fat. <laughs> what? Yeah, full fat. Aye, aye, full aye, aye. full aye. Her, aye. herbs. It's and okay. Stuff. It's yeah. okay. We yeah. can do it. We yeah, can I do see it. that face you made. I was like, ooh, now I'm scared to drink. I'm like, ooh, it's probably really no, gross. it's good. It's good. <laughs> you know, all the beer in Argentina is good. Ooh. It's a beer society. I think it's a beer world, actually. Mm-hmm. Beer world. Everybody drinks beer. Yeah, yeah, it's a beer world. And yeah. I, I may have said this before, you don't buy beer, you just lease it. Uh, you mm-hmm. to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta turn it back in pretty quick. Right. I think it was the, the what, either a magazine or a, or a thing, the tasting table, they just put out a, uh, an article about how Malbec's and, and wine, wine is so part of the culture here. Like everyone oh, yeah. will have their families, they'll have parishas, and everyone always has a glass of wine. But they said, never pour it with your left hand, always pour it with your right in Argentina. And what's that about? They'll, they'll, they'll say that you're uncultured if you do so. Supposedly. Never seen that before. Really? Yeah, they're like, no, don't pour it with your left. And always pour it, like, grip, grip it just under the neck. Never yeah. on the neck or oh, under. Yeah, because then you're like, oh, look at the cheap, look at this cheap guy. In classy restaurants, they always hold it at the at the bottom, right? And they kind of pour I it think in. They, because they, they angle it on their hands. So if you can do that, you need to drink more wine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. <laughs> yeah, if you're holding it like that. If you're holding it like that. Right. Right. <laughs> by the time... <laughs> And by the time the wine's done, everyone's doesn't matter how you hold it. Just right. get get more in my glass. Right. Just give me the damn wine. Okay. <laughs> so well, uh, okay. My girlfriend gets on my case. We go to a restaurant, and when the meal's over, I stand up and I kind of straighten my back. And go, oh. Uh, like that's this. Right. And she says, "That's so gross. You just don't do that yeah, in Argentina." She was joking about you the other day. Oh, uh, well, what do you think? Is that is that really a, a faux pas? Is that a bad thing to? I mean, just like get up and stretch after a meal. I mean, no, I just get yeah. my shoulders back. And, yeah, yeah kind of stretch it out. Yeah, get the cricks out of your neck. Is yeah, that yeah. bad? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I think it's yeah. It's kind of you had a big meal and you get up and you stretch. Yeah. Oh, I feel good. It might be very American. I mean, uh, very estadounidense. It might be very United States-ish to do that. Get up yeah, and I guess stretch. We, we, we just stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing real. she accused <sighs> me of licking my fingers. Oh, yeah. that's, that's and I'm good... like, wait a second! I never licked my fingers. He says, "Oh, you did." I said, "Oh, I don't remember that." Oh. But I can understand that. But standing up and stretching is. is I, mean, I not think that bad. if you've been sitting down for a while talking, you're kind of going to need to stretch up your yeah, stomach, especially if you're going to a big meal. Just want to. Just well, that's it. Stretch your legs. I think I think it's the noise that what you just did. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. like she has something Maybe that's against. Yeah. But anyhow, like, oh, oh my God. gosh. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of girlfriends, Malay just broke up with his. Oh, oh really? Yeah, the actress, right? Yeah, she's the an actress, actress or something. Fatima. Uh, Fatima Flores. God, she's so hot. And she's she a blonde, she's blonde, blonde, what's it called? blonde sh- bombshell. And, that's yeah, it. I mean, I, I, lanky I, I, woman. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> she's apparently been having like a lot more gigs in the U.S. and Europe. <laughs> well, yeah, because she's famous now. <laughs> right. So, so he, they're like, it's been putting a strain on the relationship. I'm traveling around. She's traveling around. Let's just call it off. And they broke up amicably. Well, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least he's you know mature enough to let that go. And yeah. 
That's about thing. Like now he's a single president. That's rare. Yeah. Whoa. He's a single yeah, president. Right. <laughs> he just replaced George Clooney as, oh. the, as the world's most available bachelor. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't right. even know if it's George right. Clooney anymore. It's probably somebody yeah. else. I think George yeah, it's Clooney's like, with that the uh, the international attorney. She's really pretty. She's super popular. Yeah, like really famous yeah. as the international lawyer. She's well, an international attorney. Speaking of most really? popular yeah. bachelors, I, mean, I thought he was an actor. Yeah. Well, well, no, she. she he's his, she. his oh, girlfriend. She. Yeah, his okay. girlfriend. I, I, I she's like an international human rights attorney. Big, yeah, big. Yeah, she does some Hot. big time cases. Not to, I shouldn't say that, yeah. but yeah. They apparently get along really well. I mean, he, <laughs> you were saying uh, he's on the most times most influential oh, yeah. list. So no. he is the most eligible bachelor, That's I guess. True. He's one of the yeah, most. Yeah, the is coming out in the Time 100 for 2024. Yeah, who's so going to yeah, be he the, is the, yeah, the big next available bachelor? <laughs> President of a nation. We have the top <laughs> top 100, yeah. With the highest inflation in the world. <laughs> well, he's working on it. Yeah. He's working on it. Uh, okay. okay. The, the, the economic ministry did say inflation is slowing, supposedly. Yeah. Inflation is supposedly slowing down now. Even, even though it's still world top, but it's supposedly slowing down. The rate at which it increases is going down. All right, so that's good. That's there. good. Well, yeah. I, they, they were talking last night about the uh, prepagados, which I finally found out what that is. That's like insurance, that you, health insurance oh, that you yeah. buy, and how those premiums going up in it. Ooh, part of it was yeah. medications have gone up 1,000%. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what time period of time that's over, but that's a big jump when, yeah. when people need their meds. Right. Yeah. That's one yeah. of the fallouts. Of and so, and so great insurance doesn't want to pay for it anymore. I guess that's what that means. That like either you raise your rates or, or we're not paying. So yeah, that must be like, are going up. Right. Prepagos, food, and tuition. School oh. tuition has gone up. I think a hundred percent in private schools. Oh my god! I mean, and <laughs> okay, this is we have a fun story after this, but the cuts to the University of Buenos Aires, eighty percent on their budget Ooh. in real terms. After you factor in inflation. 80%. They have 43 days left Damn. of the system functioning. Well, they need to figure something out. Yeah. The Cause school is free here. It's a free school, yeah. And Public schools are free. They're having a protest on April 23rd, national protest for all like it's universities and things that got cut. But yeah, they have 43 more days of running the university before they're figuring out. They, they need to figure something out. They need an endowment or... They need to start charging the extra heroes. Or, or that, yeah. Something. Charge the charge, you know, foreigners. Right, right. Even Why? a little bit. Because I mean, in, don't Brazilians yeah. do that? Brazilians come here and they get anyone who comes here gets free school. And then they as long as you qualify, you know, to get into the school. Yeah, and then they'll take this really good education. It's really it's prestigious free. UVA. It's one of the best universities in South America. Mm -hmm. And the people that yeah, come down here wild. get a free education and then go back to their country with it. So they don't even use their education here. I mean, that's that's well, huge. I can see your, why you might not want to fund that mm -hmm. so much if, if people right. are coming from all the countries in South America and then get, get a free, a free right. education here. But I mean, it kind of like it kind of like is sort of hypocritical to what Malay was saying. He, he's going on and on about how the education here sucks so bad, kids can't read and write. Then he's basically defunded the only the biggest public university in the country, which is gonna. Definitely screw with education. Yeah. I, mean, uh -huh. I think he's just kind of pushing it's a balls to the wall, if you will. Like they need yeah. to do something to yeah. fix their their money problem. Cause That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but have you have you seen graduations here? <laughs> oh my god! It is a thing. On that. The graduations. Oh my god! Never so seen, we walked through Plaza Medicina yesterday. You probably saw on the ground there's like flour and confetti and eggs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's a mess. We went to one once with yeah. Mel uh, Melly. She graduated. Oh, yeah, she had. They like you. You come out. They they you put you like make a frame out of cardboard and you paint it up. And, like just graduated. Like, yeah, doctor. New doctor right. in the family. And then the family they'll dump champagne on you, throw eggs in your face, throw dump, flour, dump flour all over you, put vinegar all over your clothing. Yeah. <laughs> throw confetti everywhere. They're just partying out in the streets and like uh, an entire class will have this happening. All these families and each person in the class has their family grouped around them throwing. Yeah. All this crap out there. Throwing champagne. And sometimes they have live bands. Oh, They'll have yeah. a whole band playing. I mean, it gets... Yeah, it's really... This Brazilian Sham in front of uh, Faculty of Medicina yeah. the other day. He got up on a trash dumpster. <laughs> so <started> dancing <laughs> on a dumpster and they're throwing shit at him on... He know. was just drinking the uh, champagne right out of the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> on top of the trash can. And they're still egging oh. him. And... Yeah. 
They even yeah. have signs like, you can throw anything, just don't throw eggs, please. Because yeah. the eggs are so hard to clean up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, they throw, yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's, baking a cake out there. Yeah. Flour, vinegar. Eggs, yeah. Champagne, eggs. It's, it's, it's one of the strangest customs I've ever, I've I've never never seen yeah. here. I've never seen that before until I came here. Because graduation in the States is very clean. You know, yeah. you have your, your cap and gown, you're yeah. in the black, and... The puns and circumstance of it all. The yeah. pomp and circumstance. It's so, it's so um, tame. <laughs> yes. Compared to, to this. compared to down here. Yeah, it's quite tame. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't mind it. I would have loved to have graduated and everybody like throwing crap all over me. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. <Yeah. laughs> this is what it's going to be. Oh, I mean, this might be like one of the last graduating classes for a while, though, if they only have 45 mm. days left. How are they going to do it? Well, life goes on. They'll figure something out. Yeah, they, they said we're going to keep the schools open, even if all the teachers have to work for free. Oh, and my. They said, if we have to light the school by candlelight, then we will do it. We will stick here for our students. I was like, hmm, how's that going to work? Well, that's interesting because he gave the, there's like a 30 mil pesos, 30,000 peso discount or like subsidy for people who are, going, who are sending their kids to private schools. Oh, wow. Because private school has gone up so, so much. That's true. So they are kind of incentivizing, keep, keep your kids in school. Yeah, okay. At that least means. high school. That's like high school, you know. But that's like 30 bucks. 30 meals, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, that's 30 bucks. So yeah. it's like, <laughs> how much is really, it? Yeah. That's somewhat significant here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if you've got two, three kids in school, right. it's about $100, you know, sixty hundred bucks. And you have to buy them like other uniforms and, cl- and stuff. And in private yeah. school, you have to buy them all that stuff. In yeah, school, I was talking to I was talking to Paula, our, a, a friend of ours. She has to buy notebooks and all the school supplies have gone up. Oh yeah, hugely. She's like, it's so expensive to send my kid. She has two kids, has to send her kids to school. Yeah. notebooks, pins, all that stuff. Yeah, although her son is sharp. Yeah, yep. he's like, he's like twelve. So they do have good, yeah. thirteen years old. His voice is just cracking. He just runs around our house all the time, but he's so smart. I am, I was shocked, and he's also learning a little bit of English. So I'll, I'll be like yes. upstairs in the front paying to, she's our encargada, the, the manager. And so sometimes he'll be out there doing his homework and like, Johnny, and he'll like try and practice. But he, he goes, um, oh, repellente. They did a class in, about insect repellent and they made some homemade repellent. And he's, his mom is, is like, uh, oh wow, what's it made of? So he gives me the, uh, the recipe. And then he goes into this like tirade, not tirade, but he launches into like the etymology of the word rep- repellent. It goes, repel. It's like, repel is to repel, to make something go away. It's different from a poison. It doesn't kill them. And then his mom, for bless her soul, she goes, and the lente? <laughs> 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 just, he goes, he just looked at her like, mom, lente is not a word. <laughs> it's like, repel is the word. Lente is, is the action of making the word work for you. And she, and she goes, oh my God. He goes, mom, you're so stupid. I'm like, don't say that to your mother. Have some respect. <laughs> oh, but that was pretty funny. Anyway. <laughs> Small anecdote well, there. Well, if, if they're going to have to start paying for education at the universities like that, maybe that'll spur a lot of banks to come down here and start making loans. Oof. And oh then, God. you know, well, you know, Biden did all the loans in the United States. He's forgiving a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, but that would be another way to bolster the economy if everybody had to take a loan yeah, to get then, a degree like you have to do in the States. Right. But if they're like predatory loans like they are in the States, then it's yeah. probably not worth the, not worth it because so many kids in the got U.S. just got gypped with these ridiculous ridiculous school loans they can't possibly pay off and it comes back to bite them in the end because now the government's ending up paying for these loans yeah in the long so run they're like oh, well but yeah yeah. yeah yeah Ooh, actually there was a so the weather's been nice let's go on the weather we always talk oh, about the weather yeah a bit. yeah the it weather. was rainy and muggy for like five days oh, yeah. Ugh, cold yeah. sleety Ooh, Terrible. Yeah, we missed it all the other day. We were, just, we were <laughs> trying to walk around and it just kept yeah, misting. It was, <laughs> it was yeah. supposed to be sunny that day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the forecast, it never did change all day long. I mean, it's raining all day long and misting. Yeah. And misting. the forecast never changed. <laughs> Windy. It was oh, terrible. Sight. So sleety. Ugh. And they're, they're expecting cooler than normal temperatures for this winter. It's starting Oof. cooler and it's going to stay cooler. So I think it's going to be a cold winter. Yeah, and we're getting cold winters. And they're, they're counting on it in the north. Because these leafhopper oh. bugs, these bugs that they're tearing up the corn, uh, 6.5 million tons of corn destroyed. Oh, uh, they've yeah. already oh, 6.5. Yeah, they're little Are leaf they like... hoppers. They're smaller than grasshoppers, and they carry a disease. Oh, it's, Lord. Uh, and it, it's, oh, the corn is all diseased. Deal. 
Jesus, that's a huge and of agriculture in now. In some some zones that like do a, the brunt of the corn, like Chaco, Santiago, Estero, Tucumán, they are some of the worst hit. They used to have a five percent loss due to this insect and and the disease. The disease yeah. now forty to fifty percent of the crop is gone. Woo! In the worst hit zones, so it's really killing the the corn. So they lost all their soybeans. They lost a huge bunch amount of corn. It's gonna be a bad year for Argentine agri- agriculture. Jesus. Really bad. And as a response, the government is accelerating an approval for two new insecticides. So who knows oh, what's in that? Roundup. Oh. Who knows what's in that? Who knows what kind of cancer you're going to get up when you eat corn after that's been sprayed with that stuff? Yeah. Oh, goodness. And you know, it's pretty loose around here, I guess, mm-hmm. the laws. I know America allows anything, but in Europe, they've banned a lot of these chemicals that in America they even use on their grass. Yeah. There's that huge Roundup uh, uh, lawsuit. Because Roundup is causes cancer, and everyone uses Roundup. Ooh, yeah. oh, Roundup. God. Like, I mean, everything. it works. I mean, it does. <laughs> it works. It does. That's the thing. That's it the works. Truth. It does work. I swear, our father used to yeah. put that in our garden all the time, and hey, there would be no bugs. There would just be just no, no bugs. bugs. Not yeah. even bees. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're all. Wouldn't even come there. I'm like, no. You know, you can that say what work. you want about DDT, which was outlawed what 60, 70 years ago. Yeah. But uh, DDT, it really got mean? rid of the bugs, yeah. and there it were works. no bed bugs in the United States yeah, because right. DDT oh, God, was being bugs. used. Ooh. They got they got rid of DDT, and the bed bugs came over from Europe, and I guess. I don't know if it is now, but oh, there's there time. was an epidemic yeah. a few oh, years back. No, it was recent, back. less yeah. than that. Yeah, recently in, pa- in Paris. Paris. Dude, there were, there were mattresses all through yes. the streets. Oh, yes. God. And they, they tell you you're supposed to spray paint on the mattress on the street bed Oh, bugs. chinches. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or whatever they are. Oh. You know, so that other people don't go and get the mattress. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, who's getting the mattress off the street? Oh, well, the guy that lives in the street <laughs> yeah. across yeah. the street from me. was bloating. Oh, God. We talked about him last night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord he's, now he's got the changes and the mosquitoes. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> he's fucked. <laughs> God, he's gonna get dengue. Oh. He's gonna be itching all the time. Oh, get some nasty. Weird. He's gonna get HIV from some other uh, homeless. <laughs> well, at least they don't. At least the bugs don't carry that one. Oh, that would be that would be yeah. terrible thing. Oh, Lord. Ugh. Speaking on the weather. Dubai had a year's worth of rain. Good God. In like a couple of days. Wow. It was flooded. Ooh. Their airport had to shut down. The second large or most, uh, what is this, most riding, <laughs> how do I say that word? Uh, the second busiest airport second in the world? Busiest? Yeah. Well, it's I Dubai. Passenger count, yeah. yeah. Dubai. I didn't even know that Atlanta was number one. Atlanta's yeah, number one. That I would have guessed. Yeah, yeah. Hartsfield. I mean, okay. that's, that's all amazing. My, all my passenger get... flights landed there. Eight point five billion people. Ooh, wee. In a year? Oh yeah, I would expect so. Yeah, I mean, are people, using people billion, billion people using airports, using I mean, air flights, oh. not not in one air station, but using yeah. airports throughout the world. Oh, oh flying. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. But they have. I mean, I think there's numbers. Some I mean, they must be. I guess then, like like the Atlanta of like the Middle East, Asia area. Like you get lots of connections. Sure. Yeah, let's go. I could go down the list. The east, the yeah. far east. Cause that's that's Atlanta. It's not like everyone flies out of Atlanta. It's because it's, yeah, you I, get a whole bunch of connecting flights there. Yeah. Because. Let's go. To, I can go down the list. So Atlanta's number one. Dubai's number two. Damn. Number three. Somewhere in China. O'Hare. Close. Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay. Oh, DFW. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. O'Hare is oh, number oh, number yeah. nine. What a terrible airport. Yeah, DFW. <laughs> like DFW. God, with that damn train. We flew you there. Right? Get on the train and go around in a circle yeah. to make a connection. This That's is just ridiculous. The runway goes over an overpass over the street. It's so big. I was like, damn. what the fuck? Yeah. We're going over. But you have to catch Dallas to get like to South America. A lot of connecting flights. Go, we we took Dallas to get here. We went. I think we went to Dallas and then we went to Peru and then we got here. Yeah. But Dallas is a big one. Yeah. Did we stop at Dallas? Yeah, we went to Dallas and then we went to Peru. And then we went to El Salvador. El Salvador. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But oh, they, they have really? a lot of South American flights connecting. Oh, interesting. From I Dallas. Because it is in Texas, like right there in the middle. They're number yes. three. So it's yeah. close. Okay. Let's go to number four. Whoa. And still not. Heath- it's Heathrow, London. Oh, that oh, makes sense. That's the yeah, worst sense. airport in the world. <laughs> no, which one is worse? Is it, is it, is it, is it Fort Worth? Don't ever go to Fort Worth or, or, or passport control in Heathrow. Do oh, everything you can to stay oh, out of the UK I in your travel plans. I've never had any problems there. Wow. Jesus. Oh, God, it's awful. Oh, I you, walked in. you stand in line for an hour, hour and oh, 15 uh, minutes just to have somebody look at your passport oh, and stamp it. I must have gotten, I must have taken a really early flight because I came in early in the morning. 
and it was empty. And Most I of those right red through. eye. Like, Hello, welcome, welcome to London. Oh, oh it's okay. I'm like, what are you here for? Business or pleasure? I'm just traveling. Oh, well, enjoy your time. <laughs> <laughs> this went out. It's not, that is that horrible <laughs> like it, was, it was so fast. I'm standing in line with these guys from uh, somewhere in Africa, and they've got a bag oh. of, of greasy chicken, and they're Ooh, shoving it in their faces, you know. It's like, oh, my God. I can't whoa, whoa. And, and, and the thing is, you go back and forth on the stanchions, and so you run into them about every whoa. five minutes. <laughs> <The> greasy chicken. <laughs> you I have know. to look at them like six times before you get to the front of the line to get your passport stamped. Damn. Oh, yeah, I've seen the guy that passed okay. them <laughs> They're still eating that chicken. Oh my god. Love that chicken for Popeyes. (laughs) (laughs) It's finger looking good. It's finger looking good. uh, That's number four. Number five Tokyo. Okay, I, I, was, I, guess I, was, I was about to ask. Is it, there's got to be gotta, Asia. That's the only Asian like, one on the list. Number really? six is Denver. Number seven is Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. Well, that's a good, I would for say that's Europe. a little, yeah. yeah. Uh, eight, LAX. Number nine, okay. Chicago. Flying so out, that's heat, yeah, yeah. O'Hare. O'Hare in Chicago. I mean, wow. but there's so many in the year. One, two, three, like four, four of the top five. Or four of four. One, two, three, four. Uh, or five are from 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 the states. From the states. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, Atlanta, yeah, Chicago, so Denver, economy. LAX. You know, Americans yeah. make a lot of money. And, yeah. And, so they, then they do most travel. Yeah. yeah and the thing is, you know, in 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 Europe, you, you really can't move that far away from your family because it's small. Yeah. And what happens in the states is, is your kids go to school, they get their degree, and they get a job. Say you're living in Atlanta, they got to get a job in Seattle. Yeah, they move and so, so if they want to come back for Christmas or Easter, they, they, fly. they have fly. to fly. True. True. Our sister flies from yeah. Den- Denver, from number Denver. six, yeah. And then they had their train systems out there, which are really good. So you that's just hop on a right. train and just train over. Yeah, that's it, train. Instead of hopping on a plane, just hop on a train. You'll get you right well, there. Yeah, Istanbul. but the train in, in the States, I don't know if that would work. No, no. The Hell no. It takes like three, three, four days to take Amtrak all the way across country. Yes, it and does. You can just Poor take, Amtrak. You can have a six-hour flight. Stop in Dallas, Fort Worth, and get to LAX. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty cheap still to fly. And yeah. so it's yeah, yeah, not bad. Yeah, there are no there are no full cross country trains. Not in, well, at least not for Amtrak. You said to stop, no. get to another one. <laughs> yeah, change trains so many times. I wanted to do it once, but never. No, that was like uh, three fucking nice. days. Pretty. Hell no. It's a nice idea, but the, you're just sitting in a chair watching the same plants go by for yeah. you know two days. Oh. Yeah, Cows, trees, grass. Oh, oh, God, it's flat and nothing. Yeah, oh, my grandmother, would, uh, she lived in Smith Center, Kansas, which is just east of Kansas City, probably about 140 miles. And she would always take what she called was the chief, because all the trains back Oh, the then, super chief. Yeah, the super yeah. chief. They all had names. The city of New Orleans, yeah. super chief. Yeah. And uh, she would go to Whoa. Riverside, California to see oh. her sister. Oh, all the way from Kansas. Us. And cool. she really enjoyed that trip. She'd do it every year. Oh, wow. Small world. Oh, wow. I went we're, to college in Riverside. My sister lives in Riverside. Yeah. 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 Look at that. That's, that's our sister lives that's there. Where, that's wow. where. I don't remember what her name was, but that's oh, where her sister really? lived. Wow. She'd go out there for a month and hang out. Riverside, yeah, California. Yeah, take the train, take the train Riverside. back. Shout out to y'all in Riverside. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. how you doing? I mean, the trains aren't so bad. I used to pick up my brother up. He would go from San Diego to Riverside, and I'd pick him up at the Riverside station on the Metro. Yes, yeah, there's those. those, those um, so there is a train line, the Metro, yeah, the, the little coast. light rail. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Metro Link. B-P-O. Yeah, the Metro Link. Uh, so it's not like Amtrak, like a mm-hmm. like a passenger rail, like really big. No, it's big. a little small. They're know, trying to grow coast, it. They have the Acela going all the way up the coast. It goes oh, all the way up to Maine, I think. Acela? What Acela. a nice name. Yeah, you can catch it from D.C., even lower. D.C., get to New York, go higher than that. New Hampshire. Higher. Maine. Maine, Connecticut. I went to Connecticut in the, in the, in the Acela. That's a, everyone Amtrak, lives. basically Amtrak. I mean, the Amtrak, good. You have to wait a lot. I mean, when you're at the airport, you still got to wait for all the customs, for the bag check and all that. Speaking of horrible... Airports, we yeah. flow out of LAX a lot. Oh, yeah. LAX, terrible. They're doing a huge renovation on it. They're going to, I think it's the Bradley or the Kennedy, some part of it. They're going to expand LAX. Hopefully, it'll get better. But it was. Yeah, I mean, but they renovate well, airports like every two or three years. True. Because they're just constantly changing. I was surprised like, I didn't see New York on the list. Oh, dude. Like, there's, there's two. There's LaGuardia, which I heard is LaGuardia. notoriously terrible. Is it LaGuardia is the worst one? And then there's Kennedy, I think. Most there's... people fly out of LaGuardia because it's cheaper, but Kennedy <laughs> yeah. is right in the city. Like, 
the LaGuardia terrible. <laughs> oh, world trade. Uh oh. I'm just Oof. kidding. No, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's well, a building coming in. I said I had a story about Hartsfield. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay, it's William B. Hartsfield was the mayor of Atlanta when they built that. Okay. And I'm not sure when it was. It's probably late 40s. They started the airport, and they named it after that mayor. But at the Atlanta Zoo, they had a gorilla, and they called him Willie B. Willie B. And they taught this gorilla how to smoke cigarettes. Oh, no. Lord. Yes. Uh, that's definitely yeah. something from back in the day. Oh, and you could go, I, I, I would go and see him every once in a while. But, uh, so you know, he'd, he'd be sitting in there with a, with, a, with a cigarette in his hand, just smoking like that. Now, I, I don't know, I never what? knew if he could open the pack, you know, and hit, hit the bick, you know, oh, and light, yeah. fire it up, oh, or if they just, they just kept coming by and handed him his cigarettes. <laughs> Oh. He smoked all the time. Why are you gonna give a monkey some smoke? Because he's in a zoo. There's nothing else to do. What is he gonna do? You know? Yeah. It's like he's just smoking, is... shooting the shit. You know? Oh, this was a long time ago. This was like in the, in the '70s, and he was still sitting in a in a concrete cube yeah. with, oh, with oh, glass oh, and oh. bars in front of him. Poor, oh, no. Poor, poor guy. Willie. I mean, Willie B. He probably had like all the banners. Ma, sponsored by Marble. <laughs> <laughs> Willie B. Sponsored by Marble. Marble goes. Marble likes the new standard in Gorilla. Yeah. Oh, gorilla oh, my God. <laughs> and he's sitting there going, ain't nothing lucky about this strike. <laughs> <laughs> lucky strikes. Oh, no. Sitting in a damn cage for 40 years. Oh, yeah, just smoking oh, until wow. you die. Yeah, poor Jesus. It was kind of funny that they uh, they named him after the mayor. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, will he be a mayor? Jesus. That's my story. Okay. Well, speaking <laughs> of airplanes, Argentina just inked a deal on their fighter jets. Are they getting F-16s, F-22s? Yep. Uh, they, so many. They oh. bought them as third hand, I think it's now. Oh, They're the third hands, because first it was the United States, then the Danish bought them, and now, now Argentina's fighting them. So it's like third. Oh, so it's, that's why he went to, to Denmark. Denmark to yeah, get the planes. Oh. They're a lot cheaper. And Denmark he test drove them, yeah. He was, he was yeah. up in the air flying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Co-pilot. They bought 24 of them, and it cost Damn. 24 F-16 jets. From the Danish Air Force, and again, they were they're used, um, and it cost them three hundred million dollars. So that's about twelve point five million per jet. But included Ooh, comes four flight simulators, like full on flight simulators, eight engines, and spare parts for five years on the deal. Wow. Yeah, it's like that's not bad. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. yeah. They, but I mean, these are some used ass points. So. Well, they're they're broken in. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. broken in. They're broken right? in. Yeah. yeah. You want to be broken. Quiet. Flying through the yeah. sky, you know, at uh, 590 <laughs> miles an hour. You know, right. Ooh. With yeah. bombs. Yeah. 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 With bombs and yeah. missiles and shit. Right. Yeah, you kind of want to have a little bit of faith in yeah. what you're flying. Yeah. 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 Like with cars, so you got to break in the engine, right? It's like the first thousand yeah. miles or something before yeah, your car you get is get really... Get the engine, get the get the, yeah, get the things moving. I think and I know where they bought something. those planes. There's there's something in there in, in that town that it's a Don's used fighter plane shop. <laughs> oh, boy. And he has an advertisement on, on the television. Yeah. He says, Hi, I'm Don. I don't want to make no money. I just love to sell fighter planes. Yeah. So come on down to Don's. Yeah. There was, we'll be flying, we'll have a flying high no time. We've got a cowboy hat on. <laughs> there, was, there was a gun shop in Indianapolis, and that was exactly what his ad was like. Oh, I don't want to make no money, I just want to sell guns. <laughs> Damn. I'll share my passion of guns with you. <laughs> He's got one of those little floppity air air oh, blown yeah. little things oh, outside. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I Come on down to Don's. We'll book you up with M sixteens. They all come with a twenty twenty guarantee. Wow. It's twenty feet or twenty seconds, whichever yeah. comes first. Damn. Wow. Oh no. So Malay goes out, he sells all the airplanes, and then buys some fighter jets instead. <laughs> like, what? Well, I... Meanwhile, the University of Buenos Aires is like, oh, yeah, take that 40 30 years, million. Like, oh, yeah. oh, 30 million on planes. And 300 million. 300, 300 million. 300 million, yeah. 
Yeah, so that's the yeah. how many <laughs> educations could that fund? I wonder how they're gonna deliver them. Like do they stick them like do they do they have an aircraft carrier? <laughs> 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 like, I mean how are they gonna take delivery they, these they things? They're gonna fly them down here. <laughs> right. And they're, they're probably crossing they gonna, their fingers and like, genuflecting, you right? know? Like would they even cross the ocean? Like I don't think so. You put them on aircraft carriers because they can't cross the ocean. Yeah, they burn fuel, I imagine. Yeah. Those things those yeah. are chitting. You gotta launch them in order to so like how are they gonna get those things all the way from like north top Denmark all the way down here to southern South, South whole, Argentina. A That's a long thing. way. That's a long way. I don't think they're gonna make it. That be an aircraft carrier. Right. <laughs> they, oh. It's always free delivery. Yeah, yeah. right. Free delivery. Delivery on a scene cargo. Right. Free delivery with six or more fighter jets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, they're throwing in parts for five years. They might as well get free delivery. <laughs> Come on, that was probably a negotiating point. <laughs> Free delivery? Oh, let's see. Yeah, we can do that. Mm. I'm going to get some new air, aircraft uh, pilots now. Yeah, they, they're, they're going to I always wanted to be a pilot. Well, where are they going to learn how to fly them? If all the universities are closed. Well, yeah, I mean, right. Oh, they got simulators. They, they got, got simulators. They got simulators. That's cool. So they'll use the simulators to train them on their, their F-16 simulators. So they can do a shaking and G's and all that. Uh-huh. And I think that... The, 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 I don't think they can do the G's. Yeah, the shaking the G's. I think I saw that last night at, yeah. at the... Uh, at the like, I've like seen like seen a show club. They were shaking the G's. Shaking the G's. Oh God! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> was it was that a five hundred peso bill or a thousand that they stuck in that G? <laughs> G's out. <laughs> Did I give you 50 cents or a dollar? Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I guess the dance is worth a dollar. <laughs> Shaking them G string. Yeah. But like these these are really cool simulators. Like they, they, they have this screens on the whole thing, so you are able to look around and look up, and it shows you supposedly what you're seeing. Wow. But I always wanted to be a pilot. Yeah. Could be one. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna learn how to fly here. Buenos Aires, I mean, uh, Borges has a flight school. To be a pilot, yes, but to be an air, like a jet fighter, you have to be, at least in the States, you have to be six foot two or smaller. I have perfect vision. And I'm They're six better. foot three. Perfect color vision. Yeah. I, I wanted to be a fighter, a uh, jet. See, pilot, yeah. And I'm, I'm 100% red, green, colorblind. And so I found out when I was 18 years old that I couldn't be a uh, jet pilot. Damn, look That's at that. That's what I really wanted to do. Uh, I did too. I found out when I was six foot three, I couldn't be a pilot. Because you have to be damn. six foot two. Wow. You have to be shorter than that. Isn't that crazy? So I was like, God damn it! You <laughs> just oh my missed God. the cut. Oh, God damn it, about two centimeters. Oh my God. Yeah. I just want to fly Cessnas around, around the country and go to wine country like in my sister. Oh God, that would be nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, I'm almost drunk, so please <laughs> clear the runway, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what that happened to Harrison Ford? He came in the wrong way on an on, on an airfield. I think he was drunk. Are you kidding? Harrison Ford had his, his license banned. And this is not the first time. Vote. I think it's two times. Yeah, fuck it, Do I'm not Harrison quote me on Ford. this, but he's been he had his license banned twice oh, or more. Because he comes in. Yeah, get off get, get off the runway. Get off my fucking runway. <laughs> he's probably going back to Air Force One, like quoting I quoting directly that. from the script. Get off my fucking runway. I'm coming in hot. They're like, what in the hell? Mr. Ford movie. He's like, oh, I'm coming. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm going to be on the plane with Harrison Ford. It's coming through. Get all the way. Get a Jones music. No, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. <laughs> He probably, probably put his that. hat on it with one yeah. side of the flip side yeah. right before he's getting ready to land. Okay, we're going. Yeah, what world is he he's living in? He's coming in, he takes his whip out the window. Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> Dr. Jones! I wonder if he was drunk or not. Probably not. Oh, but. Lord. He's wow, young. Who else funny. has a plane? Um, that's funny. The John Travolta. He but he flies the big one. <laughs> I think he has a big old seven forty seven or something. Yeah. yeah. John Travolta. Seven flies. something. He something. Like he's got a big ass plane. Yeah. yeah. I, I, he landed it once, yeah. I remember he got out, he's like, yeah, I didn't write this for my own personal, I flew this one for I fly that thing. He's like, I could fly this. I was like, damn, damn that's so cool. You could fly this thing, wow. Yeah, that's that's another level. Yeah. Cessna's, I think, kind of easy. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I wouldn't mind like a little Cessna, the beach air, I don't know. Yeah, and find those little regional airports, there's a yeah, lot of those. just pop out, take a flight to Mendoza, take a flight to Tucumán, yeah. and just do it on my own, rent yeah. a plane for a day. You, you can join a club. And, and you can yeah. sign up for a plane rental. And, oh, and you like pay, a, like, it's like a, a timeshare. Oh, okay. okay? Right, it's it's right. a plane share. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a good I idea. Would, I would love that. And just, and just have my own personal license. I, I don't want to like, like 
commercially or anything or jets like you guys. Yeah, that's I mean, yeah, that sounds nice though. Just have yeah. your own little plane, hop in the plane, go down to yeah. yeah, don't have to check in, don't have to check yeah, I've out. I've done that before, yeah. yeah to, to I was China. because we have a nice little in I think it's in Redlands. There's a nice small little airfield, really yeah. tiny, only Cessnas and so, yeah. It's and then right across the street region. is the bar, Hangar yeah. 24. It's called Hangar 24. And, yep. so yes. you, 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 yeah. Yeah. and there's no check-in. You, it's like a tiny little office. Yeah. You walk in, there's one person working. You walk high, go, oh, feel the jet up. We had to put gas in the fucking, in the, yeah. in the, the Cessna. Yeah. Get in it, flew down to Catalina, wow, had lunch in Catalina, flew back, had a beer after and went home. It was super nice. Yeah. Oh, it was so, God. so chill. There's no check-in. There's one want. person in the office. You walk in, say hello. I'm going to go get my little flight, my little plane. Yeah, if it's your plane. You can do what the fuck you want. And yeah. somebody's just is like, yeah. you're in the air and you're just shaking around. <laughs> right. That's why I would like like a beach craft, a dual prop, a far out little this beach craft. It was in the front and had one prop, yeah. Oof, yeah, that's... Also, with those, you have uh, the piston turn. It's, you have to angle yourself right because the... Oh, that's like that BMW the, uh, stuff. Yeah, the um, uh, boxer engines on BMWs. Yeah, well, because BMW, the embl- emblem is the propeller. It's a propeller. Didn't know yeah. that. Because they used to make. You got to tell me that. Really? Yeah. And yeah, then, that little they BMW had, is in, it's a. Yeah, so they were they were one of the fir- oh, one of the first. No, I think well, well, everyone was doing it. They, you know, how they had the old the um, they all go like this. Well, let's describe oh, that. Yeah, all the, oh, yeah, they all go like this. All the, um, all <laughs> yeah, the... Describe that. We're not yeah, on video yeah, yet. Yeah, so we can't see me, right? I, I was the, looking um, away. The, uh, what do you call those? The, the, the valves. Uh, the valves and the pistons are all situated around the propeller, and each one pushes a sh- crank, and it spins the propeller. So each one's like, each one connecting, and then the propeller spins. So BMW was really good at balancing out these propeller... Um, pistons so that it would it was a perfectly balanced so spin. two pistons from opposite sides they are would fire. cancel themselves out They're, they would cancel the shake out uh-huh. and then this actually was being also used and I think they may have learned it from their boxer engines with I think uh, the Germans used all the time in the war but boxer they, boxer engines is the ones that stick out on the side two pistons on one side two pistons on the other and they each blow or each explode or whatever opposite in opposite other, directions that cancel mm-hmm. each other out and one of my first motorcycles was a boxer, and that thing was smooth. And as soon as you go, it just well, that's important on a motorcycle. Small shape, but once you hit it, that was it's a cool sound. But it was really neat that the real harmonic yeah and just, vibration on yeah it. Like, oh it was and it was a it was a wonder to ride that thing was so. I mean, so what else do they use in motorcycles? Are they using like, like V's? That's unlike a V. They use V's in Hayabusa motorcycles. has a V6, I think, or a V8. So they use V's in, in, in motorcycles, which gives you yeah. some shakiness, I would imagine, because they're not quite balanced. Yeah. The back and forthness I, I of that. Feel like, I feel like Harley put a V something, or maybe a Harley tuner got a Harley and put a V in it. I have to look that up. I'm pretty sure like a guy got a Harley, and then he tuned it or like redid the engine mm. so it has a V on it. Which is wild. That's way too much power. V-shaking. Such a small little thing. Like, Whoa. <laughs> oh, what? What the hell? Huh? huh? What? Is is that, that, is hey, we're past time. Is that time we, right? Yeah. We're, it, we're halfway through. Holy moly, really? Yeah. Oh, give me one of these, Diet Kill Mace. Let's, let's Holy go. Moly. Diet Kill Mace. <laughs> Yabba dabba don't. Yabba dabba don't. It's <laughs> tasting better all the time. Yeah. Tasting better. moving bad. along. I think it's good tasting better. <laughs> well, I got a little story. When I, was, when I was a real little kid, I always wanted to be an airplane filler upper. As in... A gas station. Gas fuel. Okay. And so when I turned 18, I actually got a job at this little tiny town in Kansas. And it was a huge airport uh, from, left over from the war. 12,000 people lived in it. It was liberal Kansas. There's an airport that you can land a 747 on this airport. What? Because it was a really a military type thing. Oh, okay. So anyhow, uh, every once in a while we'd get uh, some Learjets in there. Well, we get a lot of Ooh. we get a lot of planes, but one time we got a Learjet. You know, the Learjets they have their gas tanks on the end of the wings. One of them does. Okay. Okay. So I had to go fill it up, and then so all these suits get out, and they go inside this little. It's like a gas station, you know, on the airport. Yeah. And so I had to get a ladder, and you drive the truck out there with the with the fuel, and it's got this big spigot. You pull it over your shoulder, and you just pour it in there. So I was standing on a ladder and I was just going and going, waiting for it to fill up. And I, at one point I noticed that it was getting lower and lower. The wing was going lower and lower oh. and lower. 
And I got, I thought, well, whoa, this is not right. So I got down, and the plane was at about a 25 degree angle. Whoa. And it's like, gonna... holy shit. And uh, so I had to run over to the other side oh, and put, the other to one. balance oh, it out. My God. And they told me later, oh, you have to do those a little bit at a time. You go back and forth, back and forth. Oh, but I wow. almost, here I'm filling up, you know, a $2 million plane. Right. If I was tip it over. <laughs> oh, my God. They would have been Ooh. like, this little filler rubber. <laughs> See, no, and, yeah. and, and that spawned my theory about having money. I mean, you can really be rich, and but you have to hire people to do things for you. Oh, your laundry so or skills. drive yeah. you and all, drive you around your chauffeurs and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So really, when you're really rich and you depend on other people, your life is in the hands of people that really don't know what they're uh, doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> you go. So it's right. like, skilled workers yeah. under so you. So is yeah. that a better life, you know? Right, yeah. I mean, it also like, it says like, treat people well all the way up. Like even yeah. at the top, you want good treat workers. Treat them well, because yeah, because one absolutely. day when you depend, when you are fully dependent on other people, you you don't want any bad karma coming back because they will mess your life up. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So these guys entrusted that little airport and me yeah. uh, to fill up their, kid. their <laughs> jet, <laughs> and I almost fucked it up. Yeah, at least you caught it quick enough. <laughs> at least it caught it quick <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy angle. Wow. But anyhow, that's that's my story. I'm like, surprised well, like nobody was on the plane realizing like, holy no, crap! They're, they're inside having a cocktail, most yeah, likely. Oh, cocktail. Yeah, jet, a Lear jet. That's a. Is this like a G G whatever those is things are called? G six. Those, those are Gulf 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 stream? Stream? Those are Gulf Stream. Those are Gulf Yeah. Gulf Gulf What's a Lear jet? Is that like those are? I mean, imagine British. big. It was yeah. really the first uh, personal passenger jet. Oh, okay. They were the first ones to build it. Then Gulf Stream came along later. And now they're like super famous. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cool. Who makes Lear? Interesting. Is it the Lear Company? Is that the name of <laughs> the it? Lear Company? Lear. <laughs> Lear <laughs> oh, I think the company's Lear Jane. I think there is somebody named Lear yeah, I, I feel that, like, that started it all off. Yeah, I feel like that, that is, I don't know, for some reason that jogs my memory, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And as far as Mitsubishi bringing their cars over the United States, you know, the uh, fighter planes that bombed Pearl Harbor were Ooh. powered with Mitsubishi <laughs> engines. Oh wow, interesting. And that, that was kind of a, it not, it's not an urban myth, it's true, mm. but everybody talked about this has been when the beginning of the Japanese imports were coming into the United wow. States uh, way back Mitsubishi. then, right? Wow. And uh, yeah. Mitsubishi. No, Mitsubishi makes a good car. Yeah, that's true. Maybe their logo oh, yeah. is also like a, a prop. Because it's like, oh, it's like a three, it's like a triangle kind of three-sided little. Be, yeah. Mitsubishi, the Eclipse. I don't know if you guys remember the Eclipse. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi uh -huh. Eclipse. The Mitsubishi Eclipse was like the coolest car in the 90s. Oh, Everyone had a Mitsubishi Eclipse, the little two-door thing. I an architect that had a Mitsubishi uh, flatbed. I mean, yeah. And they made those? Yeah. Hmm. I think that thing growled. It just worked. Speaking of, speaking of making things, I want to go to the new bills. Because oh, we need to get to this today. Yes. We have to get to the new bills. Yes. Okay. It's a brand new day. Yeah. <laughs> My God. So we, we don't need wheelbarrows anymore. <laughs> no yeah. more wheelbarrows to have dinner. That's great. <laughs> Take a wheelbarrow to dinner. <laughs> Yeah, I got a backpack full of money to Wait, pay so, for my so dinner. What's the news? What, is, what is the actual news on this? We haven't said this yet. So okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. there. Heretofore, the 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 largest denomination bill in Argentina was a two thousand peso note. And those are even kind of rare now. You find them every once in a while. True, but yeah. most of it's 1,000 pesos, which is actually $1. Yeah. And so they're $2. But now they've announced they're going to do a 10 mil peso, which is $10, and a 20 mil Just about to Finally, which is the yeah. Jackson. I and I, I saw them on television the other day, and the, the 10 looks really cool. It's got two oh. figures on it. One guy looks like, I don't know... Uh, uh, Ulysses S. Grant, you know, 1850s type of guy, but standing next to him is, is an older black lady, and she looks very stately too. And I thought that was really kind of nice that they had, they had an older white man from the 1850s and, and, and a black woman from the same time. I don't know who it was. I'm yeah. sure it was somebody from uh, oh, from Argentina. And uh, is, it, yeah. is it is it like colorful? Like is this is it still rainbow colored? Oh, I don't. They have the most colored. Seen, no, they have the most colorful colors. currency out here. They have so. Oh, that's right. The new one is gray. The two the two thousand. It's like purple. Is gray. It's we have gray. a. It's, like it's a gray one. Yeah, I've got is some. It? It's gray. There's some purple on it, it's like purple, some purple yeah, outlining, okay. but it's gray. Yeah. The one thousand is orange. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So everyone uses orange. these orange ass bills. Five hundred is green, like really bright green, not like a, like the American. Yeah, it's gray green. as hell. Gray with like red or something, oh, like yeah. a reddish. Oh, there's two people on this one too. Yeah, they're, they're scientists. Are they? Yeah, they got two it's scientists reddish, on there. Reddish, blue, purple, but yeah, it is kind of gray. It's gray. I just thought it was yeah. probably the Perones or or the. Uh, it's it's Ramon Carrillo <laughs> and Cecilia Grierson. I'm pretty sure they were scientists. I, I think I looked But there is color. I, I don't know if it's a hologram. Up oh, they've the got a nice, yeah. yeah. This is almost like a yeah, medical. We're looking at them oh, right now. Oh, maybe that's we'll why. We'll have to post some, some pictures of these. It looks like that snake on the on the cross, on the sword, kind of medical. Yeah, like I yeah, think they were. Oh, yeah, oh, because it's funny because they put on American the back. Doctors. La Administración Nacional de Laboratorios oh. e Instituto de Salud. So they, must be they put it scientists. on the on the bill on the back. You can read about so the people. How yeah. crazy is that? So they're celebrating yeah. science on their two dollar on their two dollar their two dollar note. Yeah, organismo two, público. Two dollars, that's a note. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Incredible. And so they're not doing animals anymore, like famous animals. Yeah, they're, they're doing people. They're pillars Is that what the of. Are? They're yeah. famous animals. No, the old ones. The old ones have animals. Birds. They went back. Yeah. The five hundreds have jaguars, leopards. The two hundreds have uh -huh. a, a whale. Has, oh, this one has a different one. They, the, uh, yeah. The balloons one has a whale. One has a whale. I don't yeah. know. So, so there's a llama back. on one of them. Yeah, there's a llama. Yeah. So now they're changing to people instead of animals. It, it's so weird to me that. Cool. <laughs> so they're going to be here just in a few weeks. Okay. Which is going to be nice. So when you go to the Western oh. Union to get a get a money transfer, Hopefully. you don't have to take a backpack. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I was. Yeah. And they don't have to weigh it out to you anymore. Oh, they, they have a scale at Western Union. They don't use counters anymore. <laughs> yeah. They just, they just put it on the scale and say, yeah. "Oh, you get 0.2 <laughs> kilos." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's about yeah. that, that's about transfers into dollars. It's yeah. almost like that famous picture by. What's his name? When they, they have the meat on the scale and one lady's pushing it up and the meat guy's pushing it down. It's right. an old fan, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it will be at Western Union like pushing the scale. <laughs> give me a little bit more. Throw two more bills on the top. And right. Oh my God. Yeah, give me like five more bills. <laughs> one gram, two grams. Perfect. There we right, go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can live with that. Very good. But so I'm they're coming out with Western that. Union. They're a great company and they oh, make yeah. it so easy to live down here. <laughs> Because you can just uh, you go online in a matter of, of yeah, in, in minutes, minutes, seconds, or yeah. less. You you can uh, transfer from your Bank of America account or all the other banks, and it comes straight to Western Union, and it's available it's like available. that. Yeah, yeah. You can just go down and your transfer. So many really people use that. Yeah, Brazilians, oh Venezuelans, Colombians, everyone, everyone Germans, uses everyone Western here. Union here. They are they they're, they're really popular. I mean, there's, there's yeah, it's only, one, only really way to get your money yeah. down here. You got to yeah. Western Union. Any tourists down here? They don't really because I think there's too many charges if you use your card. Yeah, there's way and too many charges. And, and money, you don't so get a good rate. Yeah, so everyone just comes, gets their bills, and, right. and it's it's hard if you don't know the language to like go to like um, uh, Florida Street and go to a guy like cambio, cambio, dólares, reales, cambio, cambio, like change, change, we'll change your money. Yeah, they, they're the they'll, they'll mess with you a little no, bit sometimes. When but I, you get a good rate sometimes. When I first came here two years ago, uh, the lady that let me rent her apartment, she gave me the number of a real money changer in one of the high rises downtown here in uh, Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. And so I would always go down there to do my changes. And, and I was kind of a, you know, a fly in the ointment. I, it was a pain in the ass because I'd come in and I'd get two or three hundred dollars worth of, uh, of pesos, and they're they're bringing money in to buy houses and stuff. That's the kind of business it was. Oh, I see. So, wow. so somebody oh, yeah. would finally come and they'd Damn. say, "Okay, this is what you get." These, and I was uh, so one day I was walking through Florida Street where all their the cambio cambio, yeah. and I asked what their rate was, and it was the same rate that I was getting in the big bank. Okay. Cool. So, oh. it, I, so I so don't think so I don't think they really rip you yeah, off. No, and it, sometimes you can even like negotiate with the guys. They, they'll usually take it to like a jewelry shop, and the guy he's like, just some he just owns a jewelry shop, but he has tons of dollar bills, and he's got tons of pesos, and he'll just that's his side yeah, that's his, yeah. side, his side gig. Uh -huh. He just makes money off of changing money, so he can get those dollars and euros and save it up because it has no inflation. Yeah, I know a taxi driver who has a friend that goes to the States and he brings back suitcases full of Benjis. Wow. I said, you got to be kidding me. He says, no, $100 bill, a suitcase. Damn. All you have to do is declare it. You can bring 10,000 yeah, U.S. dollars yeah, into Argentina oh, yeah. and not have to say anything to anybody. Right. But if you go over 10,000, you have to fill out a form that says basically what you're going to be using it for, which is no big deal. And the forms are always accepted. Yeah. But this guy goes up and gets suitcases full Jesus. of them and, they and don't comes like back and sells. Yeah, well, you don't have to like pay taxes on that or anything. 
No, I don't really think so. so. Oh, no, you're, wow. you're allowed to freely bring money in. Yeah. You just have to declare it. Yeah. Because I always got yeah, anything over ten thousand. When, yeah. when you buy a house, I don't know if it's that way now. Uh, people would go with suitcases, briefcases full of euros <laughs> to money. the closing wow. because they would Buying they would cash. understate. They'd write the contract and say you know a hundred thousand euros, and but then the house actually costs one hundred fifty thousand. So you'd walk into the closing office with the lawyers with fifty thousand euros in a briefcase, mm. and that made the difference. And that way you didn't have to pay the tax on it. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Always loopholes or something. Yeah. Oh, they always find yeah, a way. Rules are meant to be broken. Oh, especially in Italy. They make a law, and the very next day they make another law and help you get around the law they made yesterday. <laughs> Sounds like so you too, funny. yeah. Oh, don't, mess, don't be funny with my money. People uh, love their money. Speaking of money, in a $550 million deal, and they're going to take a billion dollar loss on it, HSBC Bank just sold their Argentine holdings to Grupo Financiero Galicia, which is a popular bank down here. Yeah. It's Spanish. Galicia, Spain. okay. Yeah. And I, I see them on all the corners, the yeah. Galicia banks, they have an orange logo. Well, that's not but, too much of a loss. They're paying f- half, of, half a trillion, yeah, basically. Yeah. So yeah, they're, they're, they have- 500 billion, yeah, and they'll so take a billion a loss. Big, they're taking a hit. A billion loss of on 500 yeah. billion, that's like, Point five percent, right? Point zero, yes, and, no, yeah, nothing. A portion, but they're saying like. But they're moving out. Yeah, they're moving out of Argentina, and also the bank has been moving out of other places, Canada, United States as well. They're moving more to Asia, Middle East. So this is a bank that they're kind of in the forefront of banking. I mean, they're, they're just a bunch of rich mofos that <laughs> mofos run the world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but UK. still, I mean, they're they're saying you know we we this is a this is a good place for us anymore. It's too far Whoa. out of our network. Not enough people use it. It's mostly a local bank anyway, so we don't need to be like local. HSBC acts more of a, as a local bank. Nobody it, uses their international services. What is HSBC by the way? Stands for the, uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong HSBC. It was the Hong Kong, Hong Kong Sovereign Bank of China. No, <laughs> we, just, we just looked this up. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, it has I, to do with Hong Kong, ICBC but it's a British bank. It's the International Commerce Bank of China. That's ICBC. HSBC is the Hong Kong. Hong Kong something. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. Well. Mm-hmm. With that, a real yeah, quick, but yeah, yeah, throw that down. They're getting out. Yeah, and they said uh, Argentina. In, not, in addition to people not using all the services that the bank provides, like the, all the loans and the big, the big like business loans and things, they like it, it, it generates substantial earnings volatility. Like they never know how much they're going to earn from this oh, okay. from their banks here. Well, yeah, it's, it's sometimes they'll take humongous losses. Sometimes they'll make a small win, but like this is too volatile. Oh, Let's just get out. It's the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. That's it. Okay. All right. Hong Kong and Shanghai. Hong Kong, Shanghai. Wait, you remember that expression, I've been Shanghai? Sh- yes, Shanghai. I was about to say oh, something like that. What, what the hell did that mean? <laughs> Shanghai. You know? It's Whoa. Like, it's right. like a, I've been, I've been gypped. I've been yeah, Shanghai. I've been Jude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just for that. I'm not sorry. No, it's sorry not but sorry. it's real. You know? <laughs> I'll say what I said. People used to say that. Yeah. I've been. Oh. And, okay, well, sticking to money I and all this. <laughs> there's another There's that's, another big one. Okay, let's go back. So Get back on script. Right. So like, if we were, like, I think it was a couple of weeks ago where we said Clorox has sold their business. Now HSBC is selling their Argentine business. Like a lot of companies are, are pulling out. Um, Malay and privatization. Uh, the automaker Stellantis is actually investing in Argentina. So some, some people are leaving, some others are coming in. Stellantis. Stellantis makes Citroën, Fiat, and Peugeot here in Argentina. Just, but they also have a huge energy portion in their portfolio. They do energy plants, mostly solar. So they just uh, acquired 49.5% of Argentinian solar power firm 360 Energy Solar. Ooh. Cost them 100 million bucks. 100 million? For 100 wow. million bucks, they got 50% of an Argentinian solar. God. With six, that's nothing. Yeah, and they have six solar plants already. So a hundred million for fifty percent. Oh, man, yeah, that is cheap. Yeah, that's a yeah. really good deal. And they're like, what we're gonna do is they're going to make their plants more self self sufficient. They're gonna develop new plants for the rest of the country. 
They install large scale power storage so that they can send the power further and hold it for longer. And they're going to start producing hydrogen energy in the country. Okay. okay, we're getting in there. Yeah, and it only cost them a hundred million to get That's, in. Yeah, wow, and cheap. they got all the battery lithium that they need right, right here in Argentina. Right. They're just waiting to dig it right. out. Right, and I think it was it's last good investment. week we were saying like refinement is the thing. <coughs> if you, you can refine it, you can make it better. So if they if they start doing that, maybe Argentina might be on the up and up when it turns into comes to well, refinement. And I mean, they're gonna yeah. they're making solar plants. Well, also that forty nine. Forty-nine point five percent of that will leave the country and go back to Stellantis. Sure, Hopefully, they sure. can reinvest and. Sure, I mean that's a lot. Right, and and that hundred million only got them the stock and ownership. They're going to spend millions and millions more on R and D in the country to make all this happen. Plus the construction of these plants, plus all that. So that's a lot of money that's about to come into Argentina. Nice, I know Stellantis because the United Auto Workers Union had a. a what's called a strike and Stellantis is one of the main auto employers yeah. Yeah, of the they, states they make cars so it was Stellantis and, and Ford and they had to make a deal with them so Stellantis okay big in the states I saw them I think it was on the news today and I can't remember where I think it was Bolivia Stellantis is going to make oh, yeah. a plant yeah. and they signed the deal Probably. and they have all these suits with, with the, the Chinese execs and the uh, yeah. president of Bolivia I'm almost certain it's Bolivia. It's got to be, because they're, they're, they're still in that... down the hallway, yeah. and, getting, and they signed it up, they're going to start building cars. Yeah. They're okay. still in that triangle. Bolivia is in the, the lithium triangle. Yeah. Yes. Bolivia, Chile, and then they're, Argentina. I mean, then their plan, at least so, for the solar firms, is to start with their plants in Ferregu, Ferreira? Ferreira, if I'm pronouncing that right? Ferreira. Ferreira. And, uh, okay, and... And El Palomar. I'm not sure where that is. I think it's up north, though, so it might yeah. be near Bolivia. Most likely in, the, in that northern side. So it might be, yeah, right around there. And also, that's where it's more deserty and tons of sunlight. So they can make all that sun energy. Yeah. Whereas down here, it's kind of a little bit more cloudy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too much sometimes. Yeah, as, as it was a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh, my God. You were talking about, uh, so, somehow I got to taxes and some of this. Well, but you know that in the U.S., all but five... All but one out of the top five farm companies yeah. posted uh-huh. losses in the U.S. The what? Let's say that again. All but f- okay. So, so there's the five top pharmaceutical companies. All but one of them posted losses Damn. in the U.S. Oh. And they and for that they got to pay less than the nominal twenty one percent tax from the Trump era. So Trump had put this twenty one percent tax on corporations. All but one posted losses. You know why? Because it's legal apparently, but. Anywhere where they have raw materials made or intellectual property is stored, like Indonesia, India, that's where they posted their gains. Oh, of paid course. less taxes. Yeah, of course. And then so then I'm like, in the states, yeah, that's so where they make most of their thing. sales. It's a tax it's a joke. Thing. So these billion dollar companies paid no tax because just because of a loophole. A loophole. The pharmaceutical companies in the states. Pharma- <laughs> I would I would use the same loopholes as I I I I hope to use the same loopholes one day for one eleven. Sorry it's to say, it, why not? Why <laughs> not? <laughs> not sorry. That's the way it's done. Sorry, not sorry. Do That's we the have way it's done. Predictions this yeah. week. Yeah, it's been just okay. predictions. Yeah, there okay. we go. We're there. Okay. 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 Prediction time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. you have I have. One? I have one. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Start. Okay. Start. I predict. Well, first let me preface this a bit. You know because. The largest bills down here are one mil or two dollar bills, one dollar bills. Everybody walks around with wads of money in their pocket with rubber bands around them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I predict once we get ten and twenty dollar bills down here in pesos, that the wallet industry, the conventional wallets <laughs> oh, that oh people God. put in the back pocket of their pants, is going to just burst it. Because <laughs> now you don't have to have a backpack to go out to dinner. <laughs> you can use a wallet again. You can use a wallet <laughs> and put a bunch of 20s in it, and it's like going to be like normal again. <laughs> yeah, and, true. Of course, the other side of that is the rubber band industry is going to suck. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good one. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I'm looking at your little wallet here on the table. It's pretty big. It's yeah, already it's it's huge. It's actually a paper clip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, a money clip, money clip. With, yeah. with another thing around it. That yeah, it's got a crunch. lot in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's, it's doing I double the work it's funny. supposed to do. That's pretty funny. <laughs> wow. Okay, my prediction, not oh. so funny, but I think it's going to come true. I think Trump's going to get a mistrial because no one can be impartial. They can't find jurors. Jurors are dropping out because 
Lord. As a politician, and in New York, everyone knows who Donald Trump is, and they have to pick a sign. Are you left? Oh, are you right? Yeah, are you red? Are you blue? No partiality. The he can't. He's not going to. Tempered. Exactly. So even oh, if he gets wow. convicted, in the end, they'll argue for a mistrial because it was they an impartial jury. Yeah, he's he's trial the Des Moines. Wow. <laughs> there he goes. Maybe <laughs> he'll get one there. Somewhere where nobody <laughs> knows this guy. Nobody knows anything. Right. You know? Right. I don't think they even have federal courts in Des Moines. Yeah, they have Love of Texas. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Well, Holy Lubbock. Holy crap. That's like the Flintstones. Everyone's living under a rock. Oh, no. Yabba dabba don't. Oh, <laughs> that one's still oh, again. I'm yeah, bring that, that back. Right. Oh, no, that was Kamala Harris. She was talking oh, about the God. Flintstones in a press conference the Wait, other day. Wait, what was that? So, yeah. Camel bunk? Camel ha- Camelback Harris? Camelback Harris? Harris. Oh, okay. Camelback Harris? The Camel vice Camel president Just of the United <laughs> States of America, Johnny. I know. Do you remember? Okay. Her and with the Camelback, right? Oh, stop. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, she, she said, and Kamala Harris says in her in her press conference, you remember the Flintstones? She was making some correlation between the Flintstones, and nobody got it, so it switched to a Fox commentator. I'll give them credit. I don't know who the lady, what her name was. <laughs> She's but like, she said, she looks at the camera and says, well, yeah, but dabba don't. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, yeah. Kamala Harris actually said, yeah, but dabba do. Oh, so yeah, but dabba don't. Yeah, but dabba don't. don't. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, no, Kamala. <laughs> I got back to that one. Yeah, sorry, Kamala. I mean, Kamala. California oh. girl. Oh, what's her name? Kamala. Kamala. They call her Kamala or Kamala. What is it? Kamala Kamala. Kamala. Kamala, well, she's... <laughs> I'm just kidding. She, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub she's that nice enough looking, you know. She is. I, I couldn't be in the room with her for five minutes, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think any politician these days, uh, I couldn't stand God. any. Okay, um, my prediction, oh, hearing this, this new payout, this new buyout in solar from Stellantis, seeing as Malay just went and talked with Elon Musk, particularly some of their talking points were about lithium and batteries and, mm. and making maybe the potential for making autos, like electric autos in Argentina. I think there may like be a like large resurgence or a boom in like on, uh, electric cars coming soon. Finally, we can get all these, these weird... I don't know what they are, gas, weird natural gas cars. Oh, they're they're ga- running, yeah, they use They have some gas strange gas. natural gas in their cars. It's not normal fuel. <laughs> like driving with a bomb in your trunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you, They open the trunk, there's a huge can of natural yeah, gas in the back. Like, like, oh my God, it's going to be rear Yeah, this will blow you, you up. up. <laughs> so hopefully that'll mean like maybe as this comes in, that's going to move a lot of people away from these bomb cars. And also, it, it should hopefully spur some really good like inspiration to be... Um, engineers um, and builders Technology. in this country, like Technology. get that, get that, you know, that inspiration to be that type of person again. And that would be really cool to see that, like a huge resurgence of really smart, good engineers coming out of this country. So the prediction yeah. is technology Techno- forward-thinking well, yeah. people coming soon. Okay, coming Sounds soon good to, me. to yeah. a bar near you, right. <laughs> the Velvet Hammer. Right, and with that, and on that, we are out of time. Oh, the, I, well, we went we went really like fast but slow today, strangely. Yeah, yeah the time passes curious. so fast when you're having wow. fun. Wow. Okay. Well, for those of you who stuck with us, thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If you like what you hear, and <laughs> again and as always, especially if you didn't, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button on your favorite podcasting app. Until next week, this has been another insanely diet version of <laughs> there we go of uh, the, the velvet, velvet hammer. hammer hey have a great week Bye. Bye. Bye.